What's up? So, I was just outside fucking with my car, and not fucking with it in a fun kind of way, fucking with it in a way that kind of makes me want to rip my face off my skull. Basically what happened is somebody several months ago broke into my car, and by broke I mean shattered the fucking window with the fucking rock, and proceeded to tear my stereo out of its little enclosure, and uh, my huge case madoodle of CDs. I just said madoodle. That shit happened, so uh, my solution, after filing my police report, which is gonna really do shit, I taped a garbage bag over my window because it was the back left window, so I can't really get pulled over or get in trouble for it. I've been driving around like that for several months. About a month or so ago, somebody decided that they were going to rip open the bag, unlock my door, open it, only to discover that everything had obviously already been stolen, and hence that's probably why the window was fucking broken in the first place. For the past month or so, I've been driving around with a ripped ass bag in my window. I had the replacement window, but I can't figure out how to fucking fix it no matter how many times it's described to me. I don't understand. There's no way in fuck that I'm gonna be able to ever afford to have someone fix it for me. Driving around with that ripped ass bag wasn't really cracking it, especially with any type of wind, which is slightly likely to occur when you're driving. It's getting on my fucking nerve. I decided today that since I had the energy and remembered to do it at the same time, I was going to replace the bag with a new bag until my dad comes to visit me and fixes my window for me because I'm a big fucking pussy shit. While I was trying to tape the bag onto the fucking window, I ran out of duct tape. So I proceeded to spend the next 45 minutes or so trying to rip the old bag from the duct tape I used before and reuse it, which didn't really work out so well. But the bag is on the window until I, you know, put the car in motion again. While I was sitting there ripping little pieces of plastic off of the duct tape, proceeding to get shit all over my hands, I was approached by two very nice missionary gentlemen. When you walk up and I look up like this, it's kind of a hint I don't want to have a conversation. They proceeded to ask me if I needed any help, and I looked from my wad of duct tape to them and I said, no thanks. And they asked me if they've ever talked to me before, and they told me what they knew was true, and if I'd like to hear about it sometime, and I was like, no, no offense, but not really. But they said it was okay because they'd gotten turned down quite a bit and apparently I'm one of the nicer ones. It is hot as fucking fuck balls outside. My god. I don't know what happened. It went from like chilly and windy and rainy to like my tits are melting off my body in a matter of like a week and a half. What with the missionaries and Mrs. Christ and then it's getting hot outside, I'm pretty sure the apocalypse is gonna happen here pretty damn soon. And there's all these signs from God trying to get me to come over to his little little group of buddies and I just keep turning them down and now I'm gonna end up rotting in hell only hell's gonna be on earth so I still get to live in my apartment which is cool but whatever. I'm quitting smoking by the way. They always say that little three day thing. They say that if you can get through the first three days then you can deal with quitting smoking pretty easily. That is a big fat fucking lie. This is day six and I don't really feel any less of a physical desire for a cigarette. It's not any fucking easier now. This is day six and I really, really want a cigarette. Well, it sounds like the bees outside are having an argument, so that's my cue to go. Fuck. After I set my kitchen on fire. Peace out! Are you video recorded? I certainly am. Son of a bitch. Did you say holler to us on the holler? On the I didn't say holler, holler but I said hi. Holler! holler. No, we watched those videos forever. They were badass. <laughs> the first one I heard I was so love bad. the giraffe. <laughs> I know, but the first one I laughed so hard I hurt. My jaw from smiling and laughing hurt so bad. It's the one with the giraffe. Face. You're like fucking spazzing out in your living room. Oh my god. Throwing she was it across like, the room or something. Oh. <laughs> And then when she has like her cat in the air, she's like walking across the screen. <laughs> no! Fuck, it's hot in here! <laughs> Sat there and smoked cigarettes, watching the rest, but I never laughed so hard. I seriously I hurt my jaw. It was so great. Fucking comedian. 